Hello, this is the first part of my Zend framework tutorial series and I will uh, briefly go over the basics of MVC, the model viewer controller pattern. In every tutorial, documentation and manual, you are told that model is uh, your business logic, view is the layer that uh, presents the data to the user and controller uh, ties uh, the model and the view together. Uh, then there is uh, these fancy words uh, that describe it but uh, to me as a programmer that likes to see code they don't really tell me much. So I I'll show you what they actually look like to get a better understanding. Uh, so I'll start with the model. A uh, model is like a um, mini application. It is designed to uh, handle uh, one specific task. So in, in this case, um, in this example, we have model that handles albums. And then um, this albums model has individual methods for get, add, and update uh, albums. So um, if you notice, each method is specifically designed to handle a specific task. This one gets um, all the album details. Uh, this one adds uh, some of the artist uh, and title to the album. This one updates the album, this one deletes the button. Uh, sorry, the album. Uh, so e each method corresponds to uh, some kind of specific functionality in the application. And this is why it is called the business logic. This is where the action happens. Uh, then you have your view. A view is your HTML output. Notice how in the model there is absolutely no kind of output statements, no echoes, no var dumps, no prints, uh, strictly uh, variable assignments. Uh, here we are actually uh, doing a lot of echoing. Uh, notice there is uh, little to no PHP logic. Your view should have extreme minimum amount of um, PHP code in it. The most complicated you should have is a, a simple loop or maybe an occasional uh, logic statement. Uh, the idea is that this file uh, can be passed over to a designer who has little to no PHP experience and still be able to work with it. So if you find yourself putting in a lot of um, complicated PHP code, uh, you are probably doing something wrong and you need to uh, rethink your strategy. And then there is this controller. Um, the confusing bit about controller is that you will see a lot of logical components in it. Um, so for example, you see in this one add action, uh, quite a lot of things happening here. We have a uh, head title being generated, we have a form being generated, uh, and we have um, the values from the form being picked up. Uh, so and this is where the newcomers to the Zen framework get confused uh, exactly what belongs to the model and what belongs to the controller. So now let's just go back to the model for a bit and notice, like I said before, it has one single specific task. Uh, each method corresponds to one task and notice how the controller decides what task to use. So the controller is like a logical statement uh, that decides what task to run. Uh, and then based on the uh, requirements, based on the um, state of the application, like as we see here, if we post uh, the data, if the data became valid, then it directs the application to do that specific task that we want and it gets that task from the model. Uh, then, once the task is performed in the model, it uh, assembles the outputs into variables. Uh, for example, uh, let's see, 
right for example here uh, it, uh, it creates a title it creates the header uh, it puts the uh, albums information into some variable and then pushes that uh, into the view so um, basically the controller uh, looks at the status of the application uh, picks the appropriate um, method from the model um, gets the results from the model assigns it to some variable and then pushes that variable onto the view to be displayed uh, by the browser the way these uh, controllers viewers and models are organized um, usually inside of the application folder uh, in the next tutorial i will show you uh, how to create the structure uh, this is your basic MVC structure. This is how that framework um, organizes your data. Um, we are at the moment interested in three folders controllers, um, views, and models. So all your controllers go in here. And I will, uh, in the next tutorial, show you um, what is the naming convention here. Uh, then we have all our views, which are given html extension uh, and then we have our models which are just there by themselves so let's see we got controllers boot controller uh, notice how it's a controller name with a uh, controller after it uh, then we got its methods uh, then the views with the phtml extensions uh, well, there's not much here uh, that output the data processed by the uh, model as directed by the controller and there is our model here that describes uh, exactly um, how a certain task is done so in the next tutorial uh, I will show you how to create a project and how these controllers views and models actually work together on the uh, code base.